Hi guys, it's Victoria Garrick, founder of The Hidden Opponent and former D1 athlete, tuning in to So Booking Cool. So Booking! So Booking! So Booking Cool! There's so much Booking Cool. So listen to So Booking Cool. Hi, Kobe. Hey. <laughs> My name is Victoria Yurick. I'm a junior <laughs> broadcast journalism major. My daughter came to watch them play, by the way, volleyball. And she, we were sitting right there. And she was like, oh, my God, they hit that ball so hard. That's the first time watching you guys play. So thanks for coming. You're always welcome. Thank you. Um, my question for you is players like Kevin Love and DeMar DeRozan are coming forward, sharing their stories about mental health. What is your take on this and why is it important that elite athletes join in on this universal conversation? Well, that's a great question. I, I think it's important for athletes to own what it is that they're going through. It's awareness, right? I think a lot of times we try to tell children, tell young athletes in particular, um, that if you have those thoughts and those feelings, that's weakness. That's bad. You shouldn't be feeling that which then causes them to right, feel some type of way about themselves. Right? And they carry that around with them for the rest of their lives. And I think the most important thing is for us to be aware of what's going on in here. Not that it's bad, good, or indifferent, but it's awareness. And once you're aware of it, then you can choose to walk hand in hand with it, or you can choose to fight it, but you're making that decision. If you just can constantly bury that in the distance, then it starts festering and it comes up in different ways and manifests itself in different ways. So I think it's unbelievable what Damar and what Kevin are doing um, and uh, hope to see more of it. Thank you. You got it. You got it. Thank you. Welcome to So Booking Cool. It's Jewel B. In this episode, I chat with former Division I player and Pac-12 champion who finished her career with the top five most digs in University of Southern California history. She is an influencer and host of RealPod, which just had its one year anniversary. In 2017, she gave her TED talk, Athletes and Mental Health, The Hidden Opponent, and has since been committed to advocating for mental health and body image. She founded the organization, The Hidden Opponent, which raises awareness for student athlete mental health. Her advocacy group was selected as a resource in Kobe Bryant's new title, Geese Are Never Swans, also by Eva Clark. The book is the first YA novel to come from Kobe Bryant's company, Granity Studios. It is already the number one new release in teen and young adult siblings fiction on Amazon. Bookless says, packed full of emotion, an influential read with a powerful message. Here with us today, she is Victoria Garrett. Stay tuned for our conversation only on So Booking Cool. Wow, that was the best intro ever. I feel I have to play that every morning when I wake up. <laughs> oh, Victoria, something that I've picked up on as soon as we have gotten on the phone is that you seem to have a really great personality and, you know, not just talented in sports, but yeah. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> no problem. And speaking of sports, you know, during your time at USC, you did overcome depression and body image issues. While you were going through these experiences, at any point, did you know that you would found the hidden opponent? No, I definitely did not know that. Um, I remember having thoughts just when I was going through my own struggles of, how come nobody told me? How am I so lost? How, why is no one talking about this? And it's funny because when I look back on my TED Talk, I feel like I definitely gave it, I delivered it with a bit of like, not an attitude, but a lot of passion. You could tell the girl on that stage was like screaming for something bigger. And I think it was because I just could not believe how this conversation just was, was not happening at the time. And I always thought, you know, how can I do something to make this more apparent? And, you know, that idea didn't really fully naturally come to fruition in my mind until just about last October was when the hidden opponent first started becoming what it is. Wow. And you talked about how people were not really talking about some of these things. And even you in your TED talk, you mentioned that why did you take so long to address, you know, your mental illness? So at what point did you feel like this should have been addressed a while ago? I honestly think that the moment I stepped foot on campus, there should have been a big sign that said, 
warning, you're about to do something a lot of people your age don't do. It's going to be really hard. And when it gets hard, it's all good. Here's where you go and no need to fret. Like you can be stressed about it. And I just felt like I needed to know ahead of time, you know, before I was in it. And it's great because I really do think that the conversation has changed so much. And I think that, especially in a lot of college campuses, that is happening now. They're all getting a visit from the sports psychologist freshman year. Um, and so it's crazy and exciting and hopeful how much has just changed in four years. Do you think it will continue to change? Yes, I think that this conversation, especially within athletics, is just starting to pick up steam. I mean, Kevin Love just received the ESPYs, the Courage Award for his advocacy work. And now, especially with Kobe, just bringing to life this incredible story about athlete mental health, an athlete like him, a legacy like his is going to make an impact for a very, very long time. Yes. And speaking of, you know, Kobe Bryant, how do you recall when you first were going to partner with him on Geese or Never Swans? Yes, I remember him. So when I first met with him in his office to kind of talk to him about the hidden opponent, he told me he was working on a book and it was about mental health and athletes and he wanted to get my take and um, it was just something cool he was working on. And, you know, after that, I received uh, an alert from one of his associates that they wanted to list the hidden opponent as a resource in the book. And I was incredibly honored. I I definitely think at the time I thought, is this community even like legit enough to be, you know, alongside this amazing piece of work? And I'm so grateful that they believed in it and wanted to include us. And we've seen such great growth to the hidden opponent community over the past few weeks um, as well. So we have over 400 student athletes in our Facebook group who all can talk about what they're going through, lean on each other, support each other. And now over 16,000 people following the community on Instagram. Wow. And I was going to ask Victoria, yeah, what has, you know, been the response to the hidden opponent? It's been great. Um, you know, I think I really wanted, I was very specific about how I wanted to, for lack of a better term, brand it. Um, because mental health obviously has a huge stigma attached to it, which is not necessarily a stigma people want to associate with, obviously. So in creating the hidden opponent, I wanted to make sure that it had that cool factor. It was sporty. You know, it was also a home for great athletes. It didn't have to be this sad, dark place that kind of bought into the stigma, but this empowering, uplifting place where you feel united with others. And, you know, the response has been incredible. There's so many student athletes that want to get involved. Um, I have a, an incredible team of former student athletes and student athletes helping me with it. Ben Ruvo is our president. He's a baseball player. Um, and still a student athlete. So it's just been great. And I've met so many people through it. And these are all types of student athletes, it sounds like. Right? Yes, yes. The community is geared specifically for student athletes. Everyone on the team is either a former or current student athlete. And that was a part of my vision as well was, you know, there is, there are a lot of incredible mental health foundations out there. Um, like I love the Jed Foundation. And I wanted to make sure that this was specifically advocating and raising awareness for student athlete mental health, because that was the niche that, you know, I thought needed to be amplified and the one that wasn't there when I, when I needed it. Mm. So what do you want people to, to take from geese are never swans? And what do you want sports culture to also take away from the book as well as the hidden opponent? I mean, I personally believe everyone should read this book. It's an incredible story. It is just beautifully written. And I think the, the thing I want everyone to take away is the fact that Kobe Bryant, someone, everyone on this planet is familiar with him, his legacy, his incredible basketball career, his incredible post-basketball career, just paving the way for youth athletes um, to know that he created this story. And in doing that is acknowledging validating and promoting this cause of mental health and i think to have kobe's forever nod to this movement and involvement is so powerful and you know i had a very special connection with um a student athlete once i spoke at idaho state university and a football player came up to me afterwards and he said 
you know, I'll be honest, like I've never really understood what I was going through and I always felt like I was less than, but when you said Kobe Bryant, you know, advocated for mental health and he agrees with, with this conversation, he's like, I just broke down because that's my idol. And I always thought I, I had to be strong. And so to hear someone like Kobe acknowledge, I mean, it changed that, that kid's life. And I'm, I know this book is going to do the same for so many. And do you see yourself writing a book one day, Victoria? <laughs> I have gotten that question and I definitely do see myself doing that eventually. I'm someone that is super, I can't force myself to do something I don't want to do and I want to get the bug. I want to get the bug where I just want to sit down and write and write and write. I majored in journalism, so I do love writing um, and I definitely just want to get to that point where I feel confident in what I want to share with people. So when, that, when I wake up that day and I have it, I'm going to start writing. <laughs> Victoria Garrick, everyone. Victoria, it was so great, you know, speaking with you. I appreciate you taking the time to come on So Booking Cool. And how can everybody keep up with you and learn more about what you have going on and check out your work and The Hidden Opponent, as well as Geese Are Never Swans, all of that. So Geese Are Never Swans is out everywhere July 21st, anywhere you can buy books. It's incredible. You should pre-order it. I think the pre-order is only $12. Everyone has $12 and this book's incredible. So I encourage you to go pre-order. And then if you want to be friends with me, you can find me on Instagram. My Instagram is just Victoria Garrick. And also joining our community on Instagram, The Hidden Opponent. It's just The Hidden Opponent. And then if you're a student athlete and you want to join our Facebook group, definitely do that as well. And thank you so much for having me on. I appreciate it. No problem. I would love to speak with you again in the future. Yeah, definitely. When I write my book, I can come on for that. <laughs> yes, let's speak that into existence. All right. <laughs> keep, keep doing the amazing work that, work that you're doing, Victoria. Thank you so much. And thank you to all the listeners. Until next time, so booking cool.